All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So earlier this morning, Global got a brand new data download, which uh, gave us a preview of the upcoming celebration on Global. And uh, in today's video, we're gonna find out exactly what we got. Now, as always, before we get into it, I wanna give a shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets and making it possible to, you know, do this video. If you guys aren't, already following him then definitely go ahead and do so and with that said let's uh, scroll down a little bit here and check things out okay so first things first we have a promo video for the next dokkan fest unit on global which is the tech android 17 and android 18 so let me just pause this actually and full screen it we'll turn up the volume and you guys can enjoy I think it's time to put him out of his misery, 17. Why are you in such a rush? Let's just try to enjoy ourselves. I think it's time to put him out. And there you go, Android 17 and Android 18 are officially here, or will be very soon. In fact, their release date is, uh, let me see, February 1st. Right now it's the 27th, so we'll see them in about five days. And uh, we have the SSR forum, as well as the TUR. So those are the tech Dokkan Fest Androids. And we also have the assets for the side unit on their banner, which is Int Dr. Jero in Android 19. This is the SSR, and this is the TUR. After that, we have some labels for the new category, which is called Worldwide Chaos. And of course, this is led by the tech Android 17 and 18. And uh, we also have the uh, map for their new Dokkan event called Androids from Hellish Future. This is the map. We also have the, of course, Dokkan Awakening Medal for them. And then from there, we also have the Extreme Z Awakening Medal for the AGLLR Android 17 and 18, um, the original Friend Summon LR, and one of the first ever LRs to be released in Dokkan. The first one was the uh, Tech Super Saiyan Goku, but these guys came out a few months after, so it's been like more than five years, I think, since their original release. Obviously, they're super outdated, but their Extreme Z Awakening is amazing. And uh, we'll talk about that in a second. So there you go, 17 and 18 Extreme Z Awakening, as well as some additional Extreme Z Awakenings for the uh, AGL 17 and also the Int 17. Hold on, is this the AGL one? I think this is AGL and this is Int. Or the other way around. Yeah, no, this is definitely the Int one. Uh, this is the AGL 17, and they're both gonna be getting Extreme Z Awakenings. And uh, we also have a new Super Battle Road stage for Planet Namek Saga. Now, unlike the previous set of releases where we got 10 stages every time, uh, we're only gonna be getting one new stage for Super Battle Road. And once again, it's for the Planet Namek Saga category. And uh, we have a new Token Festival ticket, obviously for the uh, Tech 17 and 18 banner. We also have the Dragon Ball Fusions Dokkan Awakenings and also Extreme Z Awakenings, which are coming out about a week after the celebration begins. So the uh, 17 and 18 stuff come out on uh, February 1st, and then the Fusion stuff will be dropping on February the 8th. So we have the Dokkan Awakening for Fizz Tiencha. We have Dokkan Awakenings for the Fizz Tekka, as well as the AGL uh, Pinich, Pinnick. How do you say his name? I think it's Pinnich, but I could be wrong. Doesn't really matter. The point is these three are all gonna be getting Dokkan Awakenings. And uh, we also have this new story event called the Dragon Ball Fusions, the Fused World, which has two stages and also a new item. And uh, from there, we have the assets for the Fusions Extreme Z Battle, where these four uh, Dragon Ball Fusions units will be getting 
it extremes the awakenings and these are all summonable fusions units now they are available in the general pool but i believe they're also releasing a uh, dragon wall fusions banner to make it easier for people to pull them if uh you guys want them so it's going to be easy a's for bullpen caroli uh barla and also pandel and the other summonable fusions units will also be getting extreme z awakenings later on so here are some of the assets for the uh, Extreme Z Battle event. As you can see, we got the cut-ins as well as the characters for uh, the ones getting their Extreme Z Awakenings. And we also have their Extreme Z Awakening medals. These are the ones for uh, Pandel. These are the ones for Bullpan. These are the ones for Caroli. Or sorry, uh, Barlot. Barlot. And uh, these are the ones for Caroli. And we also have two new support memories. One is with Chi Chi and Goku, and the other one is with uh, Mai and Trunks. And there's also a brand new heart shaped chocolate item for this year to uh, celebrate Valentine's Day. And uh, we can use these to most likely exchange for a few units in the Baba Shop. And uh, also, ninth Peton Battle with a new binder and series pack. There's the little Vegito, there's the series 4 and 5 pack, and uh, here is a quick look at all of the series 5 uh, stickers. So I'm not going to really you know, spend too much time on this, but I'll give you guys a quick look at all of the arts here. We got a bunch of new stickers to collect this time, which is always nice. We got Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, uh, Ultimate Gohan, Boo. Uh, Bojack and Gokua, a couple of more Boos, Trunks, uh, Candy Vegito's in there, and uh, also another Vegito, another Gohan, Goten and Trunks, Fizz Tien, uh, some more Boo Tanks, uh, Vegito, um, a couple of Piccolo Boos, or Pico Boos, or Boo Icolos, whatever you want to call him, <laughs> and uh, also a Goku, a Hercule, uh, the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, and also Beto, and finally uh, Bujin, right? And also uh, Buhan and Super Vegito. And that does it for all of the new Peton Battle stickers. In total, I believe we have about 40 or so. Somewhere in that range, about 40 new stickers. And then, uh, finally, we have some new story assets. This is future Android 18. This is the future Android 17. We got a uh, Yam Han, <laughs> Yam Han asset. And also, Oma, Gawasu, a time machine. We got some new Key Blast uh, assets, which look amazing, honestly. And then uh, some new panel mission reward banners. So apparently these ones uh, have updated quotation marks. I'm not sure what that means. Let me see. Oh, I see. Okay, so before the quotations kind of looked like little blobs. And now they actually look more like quotation marks. So that was the update right there. Uh, as you guys can see, a big, big improvement from what we had before. Um, not really sure if anybody complained about it or if anybody even noticed. I know I didn't, but uh, if you guys did and it was bothering you, then congratulations, it's been fixed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, last one here, as you can see, very nice rotation marks all around. And I guess that's it. Yeah, that does it for all of the assets that uh, were added to the global database through this data download. Main highlights, of course, are the Tech 17 and 18, the Jero and 19, the uh, new Peton Battle stuff, the Dragon Ball Fusion Stoken Awakenings, as well as Extreme Z Awakenings, which are coming uh, about a week after the celebration starts. And uh, also, I would say most importantly, the quotation marks being updated on the panel mission uh, pages. So. <laughs> There you go, guys. Before we go, let's just quickly go over the Extreme Z Awakening details for the AGL LR17 and 18. So, before the EZA, leader skill is all types, key plus four, 
super attack, 12 key colossal damage, 18 key mega colossal damage, and lowers attack and defense. And passive attack plus 15,000 when performing a super attack. Obviously, not much to really talk about here. Uh, very, very basic. Um, considering they came out in 2016 on JP and 2017 on Global, it's not really a surprise that their details, their kit is just very, very outdated. So with the Extremes the Awakening, new leader skill is all types key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 80%, 12 key super, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and lowers attack and defense. And uh, 18 key super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and lowers attack and defense. Passive attack and defense plus 78% when performing a super attack. Extreme class, allies key plus 4 and defense plus 50%, plus an additional key plus 3, and attack plus 78%, and launches an additional attack which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when attacking super class enemies. And finally, super class enemies defense minus 78%. Uh, very good extremes the Awakening, they hit very hard, get some good defense. The only complaint I have about this extremes the Awakening is that they get essentially nothing um, in terms of defense in the first slot before they get to attack. So if there are any attacks before this unit gets to attack, then they're going to take a lot of damage, which means that they are very much supposed to be a second or third slot unit. But outside of that, after they launch a super attack, they get, as I said, some very good defense, um, nothing insane, but good enough for the most part, and uh, great damage. So there is the 17 and 18, LR 17 and 18, Extremes the Awakening. And uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, big shout out to Proton10MG. Go follow him. He's so close to 2,000 followers. He definitely deserves it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.